hello students in today's class uh, we will be doing limit of a sum it's a topic of uh, definite integration and usually comes for four or six marks and this is a very simple topic this is also known as first principle or ab initio method and it was thought that even without the process of integration if we break the area of the curve to uh, to different rectangles and by summing up all the areas of all the rectangles one could get the result so one could see the picture where we have broken the entire area into many rectangles of equal width uh, you could see h is equal to b minus a over n and everyone knows that uh, what is a what is b b a is a lower limit b is the upper limit h is very crucial h is width there are rectangles of equal width and there are n numbers of rectangles so everyone knows from class uh, uh, 10th and 9th or junior classes that you can uh, find the area and area of rectangle is nothing but l into b so now one could see that uh, what they are doing they are uh, assuming that there are not there are n uh, tending to infinity rectangles then on limited rectangles there are infinite rectangles and as you uh, are increasing the number of rectangles obviously the width will decrease and you could see that if you multiply a very big quantity with very small quantity then you get an affordable number so this crucial nh which is b minus a appears from the expression above which is h is equal to b minus a over n so by tending by putting n tending to infinity h will obviously be tending to zero and their product will be a limited value and just see through this one could easily imagine that this is how this is how the the formula came so you could see that this is the formula they must have taught you in the classes or where you are taking the assistance or going for the extra help or classes so this is that formula one could see that a to b is basically it is basically the sum they are doing and this is a to b fx dx limit n tending to infinity h goes to zero f of just see h of fa so this is the width into the vertical component which is y component which is the length so the width is remaining the same the length is increasing and uh, hereby we can see n different uh, rectangles and then we will put n tending to infinity so this is the formula now we will be trying few questions and that will make you number one in the in this topic thank you so i'm taking you to uh, to a question before we do the questions these formulae are very important so in 11th you have heard about uh, sum of first n natural numbers but this is sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers and to write the formula is very simple simply replace n with n minus 1 so the sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers you one could see the bar on n minus 1 this is just to show that this is one single term the answer is n n minus 1 divided by 2 and similarly sum of squares of first n natural numbers is n n minus 1 to n minus 1 divided by 6 and same with the cube of first n minus 1 natural numbers is n n minus 1 divided by 2 the whole square or many other books they put it like n square n minus 1 whole square by 4 so that is a simple thing so uh, students are you ready are you ready for the questions good luck it's very simple believe me it is very simple and if you go calmly then you will be able to understand it uh, more and there'll be no mistake at all so good luck so we are now ready for the first question i will take you to uh, a very simple question first question is very simple it, it is linear linear everyone lo knows linear is or uh, linear is uh, i'm putting curtain so that you could try and uh, uh, okay students this is that question 
a little bit is given to you okay this is that question so it is saying one to seven one to seven can you figure out one to seven 9x minus 4dx this is the question and little bit because this is the first question I have given something for you obviously h will be upper limit minus the lower limit divided by n so 7 minus 1 6 by n and n is tending to infinity and then nh obviously will be 6 using that formula you can go back to the formula you can read it and now it's the time uh, okay tell me what is the function yes the function you got the right the fx here is 9x minus 4 the fx you can go back to the formula you can go back to the formula uh, and uh, I, I can take you there this is uh, fx uh, these are other questions uh, just ignore them we'll take them later uh, this is that uh, this is that uh, uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this is that formula. Fx. H into Fx. Fx is Fa. So we'll put the lower limit and then lower limit plus H and gradually we will solve the question. So I'm coming back to that question which is linear. One could figure out that the lower limit is 1. So you now know that very first thing will be uh, what, what this mark is this mark is that you need to write the formula for CBSC whenever you attempt CBSC you need to write the formula okay 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 and uh, let me let me let me just see this this entire thing so the very first thing is f of a and what is fx that is 9x minus 4 so that becomes the very first bracket becomes 9 into 1 minus 4 because the variable is only present with 9 and 4 is there as a constant so 1 fa yani the very first term becomes 9 into 1 minus 4 and then the second term uh, becomes 9 into 1 plus uh, h minus 4 and the third thing is the third thing is 9 into 1 plus 2h minus 4 and gradually it is going up to n minus 1 are you are you happy okay now solve each term don't be in hurry don't rush so what is 9 minus 4 that is a 5 then you open another bracket that is a 5 plus 9 h and that is 5 plus 18 h even if you are thorough with the with the topic first two terms are enough I'm taking three terms just to show the series or, or grouping and then final term is 5 plus 9 times of n minus 1 into h and same you can see the bar otherwise one could see 9 n minus something so to show that this is one term we put bar this is very important in maths now are you now thinking of uh, I'm just removing this curtain for you now it's everything is like good so are you are you now thinking of making groups one group will definitely be of 5 one group will be five ah yes 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 this is how and it is slowly going up and giving you the time so that you can also do it so five plus five why are, why have i have written n terms on one side i'm saying n it's going up to n minus one but dear students there are n rectangles starting from one to n minus one but you could see that five is also there h is starting from 1 but 5 is also starting so one could imagine 5 plus 0 h so there are n terms so 5 plus 5 plus 5 up to n terms whereas the other series in which you have taken 9 h common it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n minus 1 so group them how many n uh, how many fives i'm sorry how many fives n so that is a 5 n and then you write the formula for first n minus 1 natural numbers this is 9n n n, n minus 1 divided by 2 so now this is a crucial step you always think of making n edge as group n edge remember n edge and and can you see that somewhere i'm writing n tends to infinity somewhere i'm t uh, writing h tends to zero it's like you can write them together also so it's like it it does not matter much uh, 
So NH is common. Can you see we have taken N common? So after when we take N common, no doubt H is waiting outside. So NH is one group. And now just, just think that only N minus 1 will be left. And the H which is multiplying with 9 will be multiplied to that factor. Because anyway N will be outside. So you could see that N minus 1 will be left. So that is NH minus H. So it is 9 times of NH minus H. Now the question will be from where this H is coming. Obviously we have multiplied them. And what will happen to H? Oh dear students, H will be 0. So do not worry. The only problem is N should not be left behind. Because only one N will put everything to infinity. And that will be a very wrong question. And it's time to put the limit. You remember what the limit was? The limit was NH is equal to 6 and it is 6. So we have put 6 and then 5 plus 9 into 6 by 2. Okay. And H is gone. H is 0. So you could also write 6 minus 0. And the final answer is uh, 6 times of 32. Oh, how we can check the answer. Do the direct integration and check it. So you liked it? Yeah? So this is a very simple question. Let me let me revise what uh, what I'm sorry. Let me revise what we have done. Okay, I'm taking back to yeah, this was the question. So you did nine times one minus h. Now you could you could figure out you know, I mean I mean easily. You can you could figure out easily, yes. Yeah, so, so, so this is this is nine times of n minus one and then uh, 9 times NH minus H and like this and this this was the thing so you remember so now no 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 another thing this thing and then uh, because when you'll be perfect so the same question can be done done and you won't believe 150 seconds with presentation and this question comes for this question comes for four marks and it's it'll make your life believe me it'll make your life so so yeah, this is this is how we were going and grouping and then yeah. So once again, a quick revision for you. Quick revision, nine times. So it'll, it'll it'll sound good for you. Just see no, H and now the generally people get confused of what happens to the uh, the because there were two factors with the second term. Obviously, one n is outside, and the h which was remaining, which was there with nine, will be multiplied to n minus one, and this is how we are. You won't believe that you know limit as a sum, and this is that answer. This is that answer. One hundred and ninety-two is the answer. Six times of thirty-two, that is the answer. Not thirty-two. Six times of thirty-two, one hundred and ninety-two is the answer. So good luck, students. All the very best. Bye-bye.